Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy New Year's Eve. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. I am back for part two of my Friday morning beach walk at Del Norwegens Pass State Park in North Naples, Florida. Another foggy morning. Temperatures still hovering around 68 degrees, maybe even dropped a degree. <laughs> We're down at the south end of the park. That's the north end of Vanderbilt Beach there, those condos. Almost a repeat of yesterday morning. Pretty much the same, right? Dense fog. And guess what I'm seeing? I am seeing the beginning of another fog bow. A very faint fog bow starting to form here. We'll see if it intensifies throughout the morning. If it does, I'll be stopping the live feed just to get a couple photos. It's just such an amazing phenomenon that thing is really cool. I've probably seen them all my life and never paid attention to them. Good morning, Annie. Welcome back, everybody. Julie, good morning. Have not seen any dolphins yet. I don't know if you can see the beginnings of the fog bow there yet or not. The white rainbow. I'm hoping to see a dolphin or two for our last morning beach walk of the year. <laughs> Good morning, Charlotte. You're allowed to sleep in. No worries. Hey, Julie, thank you. I appreciate that. Julie just sent some stars. Remember, any stars that you send, Facebook is doubling that, so... You send 100 stars, that's a dollar. Facebook turns it into $2. That's awesome. Every dollar counts, believe me. Isn't that cool? I never paid attention to that in my life. Never saw one. I haven't either. Did you see it yesterday? Yeah. No, there was one yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I was like a little kid. I'm like, what is that? What is that? It stayed for hours. Yeah. Oh, did it? Yeah. Wow. We came back down. Well, we stayed down and our daughter came down. So we were here uh, for a while. And it 
for it got real intense too. You know, it'd come and go and come and go. It was actually, if you look, there was like some colors in it, like rainbow colors, real yeah. faint on the ends. Yeah. yeah. But, well, goodbye 2021. Yeah. Can't wait for it to be gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you next okay. year. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this morning, right now, the fog bow is extremely faint. It's trying to form. That sun needs to get a little bit higher. We're gonna see another one this morning. That is so cool. It's the base of it. You can see the bright spot out there. That's the base of it right out there. And you can kind of see it trying to arch up here. We have seen so many cool things over the years out here. So many cool things. I think together we have all learned a lot too. That's, you know, we learn a little, we have some fun. We meet some awesome people here in the mornings. Just what a way to start your morning. What a way to start the day. Couldn't imagine being in a better place. So, so blessed. And to have so many awesome friends. <laughs> that is the true blessing. All of you. All of you wonderful people. If you want to get a better look at a fog bow, a fog bow, a fog, a fog bow or white rainbow, as some people call it, I did share some photos of yesterday morning's fog bow, so you can go back and look at yesterday morning's pictures. I also shared a video of it earlier this morning, where I could put the camera in the wide mode and get a shot of the whole thing. But there is one forming here. I don't know how intense it's going to get today. It's about the time it happened yesterday. Hey, anytime you go through and look at my photos and my other little short videos that I share, anything that you see that you like, please don't just hit the like button. Hit the share button as well. Help spread the word. We got plenty of room in our beach family for new members. amazing how these beach walks have attracted just so many good people. You know, every once in a while we get kind of a weirdo in here or a troll just trying to stir things up, but for the most part, it's just awesome, wonderful people. Beach lovers, nature lovers, people lovers. I think the beach just attracts those kind of people. The beach is like a magnet. There's Miss Kathy. Happy New Year. Happy New Year's Eve, Kathy and Todd. I don't know if I'll be seeing you tonight, this, this evening or whatever. I haven't made up my mind yet.
Good morning, Joan. Yes, it is beautiful here. The fog makes it a bit more interesting. Still no dolphins. Come on, Roy, send us a dolphin, my friend. Send us a whole pot of them. Send us a hundred of them. Ooh, thick fog on Lake Okeechobee. Yeah, this morning, the on the Local news, they said that it was zero visibility in Immokalee. Zero visibility. What does that mean? You can't see your hand in front of your face? What is zero visibility? Cheney's back. Hello, my friends. What a pleasure it was to meet you and Steve in person. You two are awesome. Good morning and Happy New Year's Eve to you, my friend. Donna, good morning. Darn fog bow isn't as pronounced as it was yesterday. I think the problem is the fog's too thick here in front of it for me to see it. Nice to have you back here, Rose. Always a pleasure having you on here with me. Christine, good morning. Milton, good morning. Ryan, good morning, Ryan. Happy New Year's Eve to you and your family. Barb. Good morning, nice to have you back. Heather, good morning.
Ooh. A little better look now at the old fog bow. The base of it over here, kind of arching up. It's like a dome, almost like a dome this morning instead of a bow. Cool. I can't tell if you can see it or not here in the camera. It's always a glare on the screen. There she is. Good morning, Doni. Happy New Year's Eve, my friend. You and Sean. Hey, Janet, good morning. Jennifer, good morning. Deborah, good morning. Good morning, Margaret. The tide is on its way in here. We got a little while to go before high tide up at Wiggins Pass. It's gonna be happening around 11.56 so Wiggins Pass to the north. So we got several hours before high tide. Susan Bain, good morning, happy New Year's Eve. The fog's getting heavier up here now. So I move up to the north end of the park. It's getting thicker.
creatures out of the gorillas in the mist. Hey, I don't need any credit. I don't need any credit. Oh, come on. Let me let me cite you. I want to cite you. I, I quoted you at least once already. Just put my name. Just, that's all you got to do. I don't well, need I've that. I got it. It's in there now. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, I, so I'll see you. But, yeah, send, me the, send it to me. Happy New Year, buddy. Yeah. Our friend Jim, he wrote up a nice manuscript about the history of the park. I'm going to be sharing that with you. It's, you can purchase it online or purchase it, I think, by emailing him. I don't know how he's going to set up, but I'm going to give you the information. He's a historian, Jim Matthews. So as soon as he sends me all that information, look for the post. And if you're curious, if you want to learn more about the park and its history, he'd be happy to send you a copy. He said he's got me in there. I'm a part of the history. <laughs> Never thought I'd be a part of the history. Anybody's history. <laughs> Happy New Year's Eve, Sweden. Amen on the prayers. Anybody. Anybody needing some prayers, please don't hesitate. Ever, ever, ever posting your prayer requests here. That's what we are all about here. Share share your needs, your problems, your aches and pains. You know, it's up to you what you want to say. But we got a wonderful group of friends here. The more prayers, the better. There's definitely power in prayer. This fog bow has literally turned into a fog dome. It's just like a dome now of fog. Interesting. We're up at the north end of Area 2 Beach right now. We slowly make our way north.
I'm getting lost in the fog. <laughs> Just getting lost in the sight, the sounds, the sounds of the waves and the tranquility here. I just let my mind wander, I drift away. I do think about Roy often when I'm out here walking the beach, wondering what he's up to. He was a traveling man. He loved traveling. So he's doing a lot of traveling now. That fog is thick up there. some va very, very faint colors at the base of the fog bow, the white rainbow over there. Very, very faint colors. trying to hypnotize you with the waves.
Well, I see. I see some of you have been sending some stars here throughout the live feed. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was wor I'm, it's working on somebody, Karen. Cool. Because it was working on me. <laughs> I almost fell asleep out here. Listening to the waves. nothing like walking along the beach with all this beautiful clean fresh air and then getting the whiff of a cigar <laughs> there's anybody out there that's feeling generous and knows how to send some nice fresh hot glazed donuts through their mobile device to me that would be awesome <laughs> just a couple <laughs> Nuts wrapped in bacon. Why not, Mike? I'll take it. Make a bacon and egg sandwich and use a glazed donut for the bread. Mm -mm -mm. I can't believe this year has passed us by already, but I'm glad that it has, believe me. Very thankful. May 2022 be a year of change. A change of many things. <laughs> Brooks Burgers here in Naples. If you ever been to Naples, you got to check out Brooks Burgers. Awesome hamburgers. I was talking about a bacon and egg sandwich on a glazed donut instead of bread, but they have a, a burger on a glazed donut. They got some uh, unique burgers, Brooks Burgers. A little pricey, but you know what? They're good.
Mike, good morning. Nice to see you. I was telling everybody earlier this morning about your generous contribution to Kawaiachobi. You and Carolyn are so kind to do that. Mike is going to take care of getting Kawaiachobi Animal Preserve all set up with Wi-Fi throughout the entire property so we can do live feeds from anywhere on the property. That is going to be so cool. Start educating people about why, why we have animals in captivity. People don't realize it's not for our pleasure. It's not for our entertainment. It's for their survival. It's for survival of the species. You got to get that message out. Yeah, I was out of Kawaiachobi yesterday myself, and all of the, the news stations were out there throughout the day. <coughs> Sorry about that. This fog is making me cough. <coughs> it's making my nose run is what it's doing. High humidity. Hmm. Oh, Connie, we're going to plan a, a day so we all can go. It's going to be a quiet Chobe morning and a House of Omelets afternoon. Can't wait. Cannot wait for February. February 20th. Those of you that can make it here. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. All our friends getting together. It's just, I know it's so, it's expensive. If it's not in your plans, it's expensive to make a special trip here. But a lot of our friends are already here that time of year. So it'll be awesome. Let's just hope that some crazy new strain of the virus doesn't come around. February 20th, Martin. February 20th. We're going to meet up in Area 4 up by Roy's Bench. That's where they get together. That'll be the base station. Up by Roy's Bench. We'll just spread out on the beach there. And then... Sometime around February 20th, we'll plan an event to go out to Kawaiachobi and then go to House of Omelets afterwards for lunch. Amen to that, Janet. Awesome, Martin. Sedona is beautiful. I've been out there. Beautiful, beautiful sunsets.
I'm looking for a shell as I'm walking along with a, a nice shell with a hole in it. I'm not seeing any. Yeah, here we go. It's, nope. Looking for something nice. I got a old fighting conch, but no hole in it. Looking for something nice that I could just stick on a tree, on a prayer tree, and just say goodbye to 2021 and wish everybody a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. Look at that. You can't even see up to the north end of the park from here. We might have to hang our shell tomorrow morning. No worries. On New Year's Day. We'll see. Need to maybe head up to Wiggins Pass first thing tomorrow morning. Up to the very north end of the park instead of going down to the south. Did that, is that what I thought it said? I thought I saw a funny comment from Mike Cooper. I know it was a typo. I thought I was seeing things. Did that say what I thought it said? Any panties tonight? <laughs> Tell me. Uh, I thought I misread it and it said, and I'm like, oh, he meant it said parties. <laughs> oh, yep, yeah, everybody keep their panties on tonight. Come on. <laughs> and don't get your panties in a bunch. Stay happy. Oh, that was too funny. I thought I was seeing things. <laughs> Thanks. For the entertainment, Mike. See, you never know what's going to happen during a live feed. <laughs> That's just one of the things that make these live feeds so much fun.
Well, uh, it's almost that time. Amen to that, Janet. Laughter is good medicine. It's the best medicine. The beach and laughter. Awesome medicine. I might come back to the beach one more time. One more time today. We'll see what happens. Hey, thanks for the stars. I appreciate that. That is awesome. Remember, those Facebook stars, you can send them anytime to any of my videos. Just about any of my videos. And right now, Facebook is doubling them, so thank you. Anybody, if you, anybody happened to send a tip this morning, thank you. I really appreciate that. This time of the month, the end of the month, beginning of the month, that's when all those pesky bills are due, and I appreciate it. Those tips are what get me over the hump every month. Seems like I just managed to squeak by every month. It's always something. But thank you for being so kind. If you'd like to send a little tip, if you appreciate what I do, if you enjoy our time together in the mornings, if you like the photos and other things I share here at Southwest Florida Television's Facebook page, you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post, as well as the info for my Venmo account. Above all, above all, thank you for being a friend. I might see you later. Don't know for sure, but it's been wonderful. It's been a great year. A great year just being able to come to the beach. I think we're all enjoying the journey. Happy New Year, Jeff. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Help spread the word and share the love. Help spread my mission of bringing awesome people like you together one beach walk at a time. You know what? Before I sign off, let's go say Happy New Year to Roy and Audrey. Under the tree, it feels like it's raining here under these trees. There's so much humidity in the air. It's just dripping down, a constant drip. Look at the... Look at the picnic table. It's not raining here. It's just the moisture that's collecting on the 
pines. Hey. A raindrop just hit the screen and flipped the camera. You can see the rain, the raindrops, the dew drops. Happy New Year, you two love birds. We miss you, Captain Roy. God bless you. God bless you. You are our sunshine. Enjoy the journey and tally ho. Amen. <laughs> Amen. All right. I'm going to call it a morning. Thank you, folks. Maybe I'll see you later today. Can't make any, I'm not going to make any promises, but that'd be fun. Maybe shoot for a couple more stars. <laughs> About 300 stars short of my goal for this month. All right, I am out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been a wonderful year. If I don't see you later, next year is going to be even better. Uh, I will be out here for sure tomorrow morning, New Year's Day. So tune in. Tune in tomorrow. Hey, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Enjoy the journey. Tally-ho, my friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.